So previously I had put in the uh, Dayton Exciters, um, but I didn't have an amp installed. And I'll be honest, um, even though it was better, uh, I still didn't have enough power. And so when it was trying to get through the wood here, um, you really couldn't feel much. Uh, so someone in one of the discussions, you know, I mentioned putting an amp on there and so decided to give it a shot. Um, and so it's probably one of the, the combination of the two is a lot better, um, as you'll see uh, later on in the video. But, um, you know, it's probably one of the easiest mods. It's uh, like 45 bucks, maybe takes you like 20, 20 minutes. Uh, all you need is an amp, the Dayton exciters, and then you'll need some basic wiring uh, items. So I just kind of wanted to do a summary here, uh, showing basically the wiring. There's a lot of wiring in here. Some of it I have to remove now. Um, but basically, back here you'll see, with the stock machine, um, with the stock exciters, this is an audio out here. So what happens is this audio runs straight to the exciters that are in the stock machine. And so all I did was, uh, actually you can see there's a plug here and then it comes, the plug's part of the, the initial setup. And then down here, I just snipped. So you see right here. And so what I did was uh, the, the red and black that I cut off I connected that to the um, the aux to, to aux, or the uh, the wire to aux adapter that is shown in the uh, links here, um, and so basically red goes to red and black goes to black on that adapter. And then I drilled a hole down through here. I wouldn't drill it underneath the ribbon if I could go back, but uh, it's already done. So you'll see it goes down through there, and that's where um, you'll see. Underneath the cabinet here, you got the aux coming out. So there's there's the uh, the wire to the aux connectors right here, and then there is an aux to RCA. So the aux to RCA, get out of the way there. Aux to RCA running into the amp, and then all we do is on the left channel. We run, I'm running two sets of red and two sets of black. Uh, one of the sets of red and black will go to uh, one Dayton exciter on the one side and then the other uh, will go to the other side. Now the one important thing is they both are going in the left channel here. Uh, there will be no sound coming out of the right channel. Um, so you wanna put both in the left channel. And then, so they run back up through that hole there and then You'll see they run to, you know, one runs to an exciter here, which is mounted right underneath the um, the flipper buttons, and then the other goes over here. So that's the basic wiring of this. Again, it takes about 20 minutes to get it done. Um, no real uh, experience necessary. So, uh, you know, to me, it's definitely worth it. Um, I'll get a few little sound clips here going just to kind of show what it's capable of. But Yeah, you can really feel like you can you definitely feel the flippers not again the kick that I really wanted but it's pretty good you can feel the rolling of the ball better a lot better um, and that's on uh, the godly table so I'm assuming um, you know on FX or well not FX but uh, the Zachariah tables you're gonna actually feel that even more because they have a, a more pronounced ball roll um, sounds but um, yeah so 
definitely this is a great upgrade. Um, a lot better feeling to it. And uh, just so you kind of know, the way I have my settings uh, right now is I do have, um, I think my treble turned all the way down. I have my volume turned all the way up. I have my bass turned all the way up. And then on my settings screen, I have, come on. So still figuring out the uh, UI. I got the haptic strength set to 49. And then I also have uh, my music volume set to one. And then I have my FX and my master volume set to 100. And then I didn't even see what my, my volume was up here. Um, Oh, evidently it was at 100 there anyway. So, that's it. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we had already put in the uh, the Dayton exciter, so we switched out. Well, the socks are still in there, but they're not activated. Um, but we put the Daytons down here. Uh, but honestly, even after switching out the stock exciters with the Dayton exciters, um, well, there's the tilt. Thank you. But um, still not feeling it in the flippers as much as I would like. All right. So anyway, when I do the flippers, I still don't really feel it. I mean, granted, I don't get that that vibration up here, so that's good. But I don't feel it that great down here. Even when I turn up my volume to the maximum, here I can get down here to the, like kind of get closer there. I'm still not feeling it very much. So we're gonna go ahead and switch it out. What we're gonna do, you see right there? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in an amp, the same amp that I put in my mini, as you can see right here. Um, we're gonna put this amp just basically in the uh, in the pinball machine and see if we can get some better feedback here. So, all right. So the first thing we have to do is get the play field off. And I don't know if I've seen anybody really uh, show how to do this, but or to get, I'm sorry, down to where the exciters are. But basically you just go on all of the sidebars, so the two on the side and the one on the front and you undo all the screws and then you take them off and you can stop. Alright, so we're just going to take the last screw out here, I ended up getting my drill. All right. Get the last screw out. Put the last bar on the bottom there. So we got the three bars down there. All right, and you'll see here, once we do this, um, basically this panel kind of lifts right out. And Grayson, if you kind of get down in here, you can see uh, we already went ahead and we got the stock exciter switched out there with the Daytons. Um, and you'll see that, you know, I turn it on here. All right, so you'll see when we're in here, um, I actually have the field on now. You'll see that the, the exciters get plenty of power. I mean, you can see, can you kind of get closer to that exciter so we can see the shake? Kind of get down there. So you can see it shaking. Um, but we still need to get more power into there because it's just not enough to go through this uh, three quarter inch thick MDF. So, so to make it easier to work with, what we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, remove this just because it's kind of awkward to try and work with this table uh, with this control panel. So, you know, once you remove that, you can take the control panel off, put it to the side, and there, there you go. Right. What we already did here was we did already, so this is where the sound is coming for the FX through this cord right here. Um, and we already spliced it um, right here. You can see the, the red ones, um, and not spliced. Uh, we got it wired there and then we got it connected down here with the, um, oh, where's the black wire going? The black wire is right there. I need to put a nut on that. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to actually, uh, you know, take this um, here, um, undo what we did and undo these here and then hook up our amp. All right, so we got the uh, wiring done. Here's the, uh, you know, the ground and the, the positive coming out of the cabinet. And so what I purchased off of Amazon, I mean, I'm sure you could have done this with an aux cord without purchasing it like this, but I just went ahead and got an aux to wire um, cord there. And then I got an aux to your RCA 
connections here because the RCAs are what are on uh, the cab. So and then we'll just put that together like that. And then we're going to wire up the, uh, you know, the positive to the positive and the ground to the ground. All right, you can pause it. All right, so here, you can see here, the reason I did it, um, evidently I didn't uh, do a nut bolt on the one was because I only had one. So I'll have to get that later. But we have it wired up here and we have it coming out to the RCA. We're going to do the RCA in here. So we got that like that. And then we're going to come, I have power coming over here. This is the, my one from the mini, but until we know that this works, we're just going to give it, you know, power here. So now we got the power, hopefully, I guess the power button on this one. So there you go. All right. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go to the left speaker here. Um, and we're going to run the positive that we had coming from the exciter into there. And then the negative or the ground coming from hmm. oh, it was blue. All right, then the ground we have coming from the other exciter into here. All right, and so we'll see at that point now. Oh, yeah. Now look at those, go down and look at those Dayton's. All right, so let's pump up the base here. Oh, the base is all the way down. All right, ready? Kind of get in on there, Grayson. <laughs> you see that shake? Yeah, there was a that is, so. That's much better. So I think we got a good solution here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up and we'll get back. All right, so to kind of clean this up now, we're just gonna put in about a quarter or a half inch hole here, go gently, and then we're going to actually have the amp on the outside, that way depending on the game, we can control the volume. I think I'm about to break through here. There we go. All right. So we got the hole there. So we'll run the cords down through. All right. So we got the wires coming out here, and we also pulled the ox through. Just be careful. I probably should have looked a little bit better before I drilled that hole. You probably want to go a little bit more. Uh, just look at the top, uh, because right here was a cable, or right here was a cable that I, if I would have been a little bit less careful, I would have drilled right through. Thankfully, no damage was done. Um, so there's the wires. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this amp um, and we'll probably secure it better, but just for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna put a piece of tape right here. Um, this is double-sided uh, tape, pretty strong stuff. And we're gonna put it you know, kind of right in the middle there. And then we'll go back in here and reattach. Yeah. The wires, just like I showed earlier. Uh, Alright, so now she's hooked up there. Just need to plug in the power. So I need to get another uh, DC power cord for this because I don't think I have any extras. I have to look in the garage. Um, but whatever, we'll get her working for this video. Oh, there she goes. So we're gonna turn it up and down as we see fit. We definitely got the feedback there. Let's go back up here. Let's see what we got going on. Just make sure everything still works. Oh yeah, we still see that shaking. So now, the moment of truth comes in. We're gonna hook this board back up. So we're gonna take the board here. And hopefully I can find that uh, connection. You have right there, fish it out of here. Back down. Let's see now if this thing's closed up. You know, how do we feel? It's good. It's good. It's still not quite what it is in my minis. Go ahead, Grayson. You feel it? Okay. 
but you can definitely feel it better than it was before. Especially if you put your fingers down here. If you put your fingers down there, raise it. Or you put your fingers below the button while I press it. Feel that? Yes, I feel that. You feel the kick right there, yeah. So if you're resting your buttons towards the, or if you're resting your hands down here, you'll definitely feel it. So very cool. All right, we're gonna be out now.